what's up? My name is JJ and today I'm looking at this pedal which is the Electro Harmonics Hot Tubes Reissue. And this is the first video in a series of three. Uh, three videos about Electro Harmonics Overdrive pedals, the other two will be about the East River Drive and the OD Glove. But today, the Hot Tubes. <laughs> For the year 2013, Alexa Harmonics, you know, the company that gave you the big muff buzz and the LPB1 linear power booster, have expanded their range of overdrive and distortion pedals with three pedals, the East River Drive, the OD Glove, and this pedal, the Hot Tubes Reissue. The original Hot Tubes pedal was released in 1978 and was discontinued after that, and now it's a very sought after vintage overdrive box. Prices on eBay are soaring at the moment, so it's very clever of Alexa Harmonics to reissue that pedal in a smaller housing. So it's very pedal board friendly, uh, but they claim that this is the exact same pedal as the vintage one. There's also a second version Hot Tubes pedal, um, which is slightly smaller than the original. The original was the size of, you know, the, the memory man of that day. Um, there's also a version that's in the same housing as the Wiggler pedal. It also has a vacuum tube and a bass and treble control. But this one is uh, the size of a nano pedal by Electro Harmonics. It's got three controls, volume, overdrive and tone, and a switch just like on the original Hot Tubes pedal to bypass the tone circuit altogether for a different sound. Now I have never really had hands-on experience with a, an original Hot Tubes pedal, but judging by YouTube clips, I think this pedal sounds pretty similar. When you set the overdrive knob on the hot tubes pedal before 12 o'clock, it hardly gives you any gain. And that's a little strange when you first start using this pedal. What it does do is it warms up your sound quite a bit. So what I've done here is I've set the overdrive to um, 9 o'clock, volume is at 3, and I've turned off the tone circuit for a more transparent, a brighter sound, and I'm on the bridge pickup on this Telecaster. Here's without the hot tubes. And when I turn on the hot tubes you'll notice an increase in volume because I'm pushing the amp but also that it warms up the sound and mind you I'm on the bridge pickup on a Telecaster which is a pretty bright guitar For this next example, I've plugged in my Les Paul and I'm switched to the bridge humbucker. Overdrive is at 3 o'clock, volume is at noon, and tone is maxed out for a gritty 70s style distortion.
Now I'd like to do a side-by-side -side comparison of these three overdrive pedals. Why? Because they have a different sound altogether and you can only really tell the differences uh, when you hear them side-by-side -side playing with the same uh, guitar and playing the same part over and over again. So um, first up is the East River Drive, then the Hot Tubes, then the OD Glove and as you can see I've turned the drive overdrive gain controls so the amount of uh, distortion I've turned that up to about uh, 1, 2 o'clock and uh, most of the other controls are set to 12 o'clock on all three pedals. I'm playing on a Telecaster into a clean amplifier and here's my clean sound. Well as you can immediately hear uh, I've put the pedals from right to uh, left in increasing uh, amount of gain and you could immediately tell that the East River Drive doesn't have as much volume as the other two pedals so I'm going to put the volume on the East River at about 3 o'clock and then you could also hear that the hot tubes really colored the sound a lot it warmed up the sound and that's probably uh, the whole idea of the hot tubes to make it sound like a, a valve amp that's really cooking and the OD Glove definitely has um, the uh, biggest amount of gain at this moment. So let's hear it again with a slightly different part. the amount of bass. Check out the gain range. Let's turn the drive on the East River up full, overdrive on the hot tubes up full, and gain on the OD glove up full, and let's increase the volume on the East River drive, because it's not really fair if it sounds uh, less loud than the other pedals. You might get the impression that um, the East River drive is um, a pedal that sounds less good. Uh, as a matter of fact, I think I, the East River drive sounds terrific. So check it out.
for an overdrive pedal that's rugged, affordable, sounds good, has a very cool heritage, look no further than the Electro Harmonics Hot Tubes reissue. Um, it's got tons of volume on tap to boost your amp, it's got great overdrive and distortion sounds and having the option of turning off the tone circuit altogether is also really cool because that gives you a more open sound. If you like this video, please give it the thumbs up. Please remember to subscribe and go to my Facebook page. See you next time. JJ out.